इंट्रोडक्शन टाइम लाइन्स ऑफ फोलोग्राफी वॉट इज फोलोग्राफी एप्लीकेशन बेनिफिट ड्रॉबैक्स एक्सेट्रा सो हाउ मेनी होलोग्राम्स हैव यू सीन इन योर डेली लाइफ एंड हाउ मेनी होलोग्राम्स हैव यू गॉट इन योर पॉकेट इफ यू हैव एनी मनी इन साइड यू इट योर आंसर इज अ फ्यू क्वाइट सो होलोग्राम इज अ मेटेलिक शाइनी पैटर्न विथ सम इमेज फ्लोइंग इन साइड इट इट इज़ वेरी हार्ड टू रिप्रोड्यूस सो पीपल यूज इन बैंक नोट्स एंड इट इज़ ऑल्सो यूज इन सॉफ्टवेयर पैकेजिंग सीज टू प्रूव देयर ऑथेंटिसिटी we can see a light because our eyes is a sophisticated light detector and every time the light is reflected from any object and enters in our eyes and our mind can interpret that image but we cannot store it permanently but in 19th century a scientist solved this problem he captured the light rays on the chemically treated paper that is called as photography but but it is in the it is not real it is in the form of two dimensional but in 1947 a hungarian scientist gave the phenomena of holographic technology he captured the light field in the three dimensional form uh, it is seems like a real but, so holography is originated from the greek word holo means complete and graphy means writing so it is a complete recording of any object we can see a holography without using any extra glasses in this the face of object is be is has been recorded so in this uh, it is the recording of a three dimensional world in a two dimensional recording medium so the timelines of holography in 1947 and then is there were developed the theory of holography and then in 1960 the ruby laser was discovered then the holography is more proceed then 1962 white light reflection hologram is developed then in 1983 holography is used in a credit card then 2009 interactive holographic display are developed then 2010 holo Gram is used in an entertainment world. So, what is the definition of the holography? Holography is a technique to record the hologram. In this, we can record and reconstruct the uh, light field. In this, it is this the phenomena of the interference and the diffraction. And this, in this, some tools are required. The current light beam, that is. laser light then shutter to control the exposure beam spreader to spread the beams mirror to direct the laser beam to the correct location the photographic plate to record the hologram the holography phenomena is done by the two phase the construction and reconstruction the first one is construction when the laser beam is passing through the beam spreader and splits into two parts then the object beam is passing through the lens and get diverged and incident on the object and then reflect from the object is incident on the holographic material and then at the same time the reference beam is also superimposed with that object beam and interference pattern is produced and interference pattern is recorded on the hologram so this is the way we can record the hologram fit image so the next step is reconstruction of a hologram when the laser light is passing through the lens and get diverged and incident on the hologram that time the hologram is behave like a diffraction grating and form two image real image and virtual image when the observer can see that image it seems like it interprets that image is a 3d image the one thing the key one key point is this is we can maintain the angle we can incident the reference beam beam at the same angle at the at the time of recording we used it the some application of the hologram is entertainment world uh, gaming teaching and training and mostly used in advertising in the next is uh, virtual communication simulation and planning medical and data storage and i am covering the data storage part so they we have two type of data storage 
magnetic data storage and optical data storage in magnetic data storage the data is stored in the magnetic charge and in optical data storage the data is stored in the form of light in the examples of magnetic data storage is tape floppy disk hard drives and the optical data storage cd dvd blu ray and hvd in cd dvd blu ray and all the magnetic device the data is stored on the surface area but in hvd that is called as holographic versatile disk and data is stored in the volume so we can store the whole data on our disk so next is how data is stored so these are some components to use in holographic data storage the most important is slm that is called as a special light modulator it is a pair, it is the binary form of the data it is a it is a binary form of the data and it stored the pixel size so um, it is in the form of opaque and translucent uh, patches when the light rays is passing through the uh, translucent side and the data is stored on the rays so this is used as a object so how the data is stored so firstly the light rays is passing through the beam splitter and splits the object beam is also known as signal beam is passing through the slm then slm that that time the rays consumes the data and is stored on the um, in a hologram that is holo uh, crystal that is lithium niobate crystal and at the same time reference beam is also superimposed and make an interference pattern and get stored and then this so this storage storage store on the one um, one area of the crystal the next step is retrieving how the data is retrieved from the crystal and the reference beam is passing through the crystal and get diverted then the and it project on the ccd detector then ccd detector reads the data and send to the uh, holo send to the computer to change in digital form so or uh, so this is the holographic data storage holographic data storage is a three dimensional data storage system that can store information at a high density inside the crystal in this holographic data storage is a potential technique in the area of high capacity data storage in the form of multiple images in the same area utilizing light at a different angle according to its in parallel so what is the so this is the benefits of the holographic data storage high storage density data is stored in the high density we can store 1 1 to 4 data 1 to 4 terabyte of data and less data access time it can access the data on one flash of light and the high data transfer rate its transfer rate is also very high we uh, its speed is 1 uh, gb per second these are some drawbacks of holographic data storage laser output power temporary decay of hologram sensitivity of holographic material the next is conclusion this is a upcoming technology in this we can store the more data process data and this is used in mobile computing global information security projector and many things some facts are us library of congress which is the largest library of the world is could store the on 6 dvd and holographic in the google earth we can store the all geographic area uh, area on only the 2 dvds and the next is uh, if you cut the holograms into two parts it can see the whole, the each part can see the all holographic image so these are the some references and 
the next is thank you.